one of you came out and voted in this election. And by the way, Chris Coons and the Democrats, congratulations here in Delaware. Pardon? Hey, John, the Gov, yeah, I, I, the whole team, man. You've done a great job. I'm grateful to the poll workers, to our volunteers, Happy. our canvassers. Thank you, thank you. And folks, you heard me say it before. Every time I walk out of my grandpa's house up in Scranton, he'd yell, Joey, keep the faith. And my grandma, when she was alive, he yelled, no, Joey, spread it. Keep the faith, guys. We're going to win this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your patience is great. <laughs> Let's walk over here. I'm not even gonna lie, this this would have looked so this would have looked so goofy if this dude won the but could you imagine if you won the presidency and we just see a fuck a bunch of cars laid out like a drive in, like what the it looks well, like. Oh, there's Joe like, Biden in he, Delaware tonight. His, Twelve forty five AM Eastern time a at a, a lot of car honking. He always holds these drive in rallies. And uh, a, wow, what a, a shot of optimism from Joe Biden, like, the Democratic are you, candidate are you the who uh, or you film says he's feeling good. Says they, like the that. Democrats are on Hey, did somebody just type in Akasan? I swear I just saw somebody type Akasan in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see that? Hi, Akasan. <laughs> oh, shit. We got some fans in here. What's up? Oh, he's, here we go. If he starts translating, I'll... I'll... He's talking too much. Okay, okay, we go, we go. Better feed over here. Here we go. Hey, Melania will be looking kind of fine sometimes, though. Did they have to find her true stunt double? <laughs> well, thank you very much. Hey, Siri, what time is it in New York? Thank you very much. Please sit. Thank you. This is, without question, the latest news conference I've ever had. I love you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much, and I want to thank the American people for their tremendous support. Millions and millions of people voted for us tonight, and uh, a very yes, sad Tenzin. group of people is trying to disenfranchise that group of people, and we won't stand for it. We will not stand for it. I want to thank the First Lady, my entire family, and Vice President Pence, Mrs. Pence, for being with us all through this. And we were getting ready for a big celebration. We, we were winning everything, and all of a sudden it was just called off. The results tonight have been phenomenal, and we are getting ready. I mean, literally, we were just all set to get outside and just celebrate something that was so beautiful, so good, uh, such a vote, such a success. The citizens of this country have come out in record numbers. This is a record. There's never been anything like it. To support our incredible movement, we won states that we weren't expected to win. Florida, we didn't win it. We won it by a lot. And no, you didn't! <laughs> no, you didn't! What? We won the great state of Ohio. We won Texas. We won Texas. We won Texas by 700,000 votes, and they don't even include it in the tabulations. It's also clear that we have won Georgia. We, we're up by 2.5 percent, or 117,000 votes with only 7 percent left. They're never going to catch us. They can't catch us. Likewise, we've clearly won 
North Carolina. Yo, this is gonna be so fucking funny if he loses a lot of these seventy-seven thousand votes with only approximately five percent left. They can't catch us. That's what I was saying, Stephanie. We also, uh, if you look and you see uh, Arizona, we have a lot of life in that. And somebody said, somebody declared that it was a victory for, and maybe it will be. I mean, that's possible. But certainly, there were a lot of votes out there that we could get because we're now just coming into what they call Trump territory. I don't know what you call it, but these were friendly Trump voters, and that could be overturned. The gentleman that called it, I watched tonight. He said, "Well, we think it's fairly unlikely that he could catch." Well, fairly unlikely, <laughs> and we don't even need it. We don't need that. That was just a state that if we would have gotten it, it would have been nice, Arizona. But there's a possibility, maybe even a good possibility. In fact, since I saw that originally, it's been changed and the numbers have substantially come down just in a small amount of votes. So we want that obviously to stay in play. But most importantly, we're winning Pennsylvania by a tremendous amount of votes. Bro, you're not. We're Bro, this isn't winning. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> We're up 600. Think of this. Think of this. Think of this. We're up 690,000 votes in Pennsylvania. 690,000. These aren't even close. It's not like, oh, it's close. With 64% of the vote in, it's going to be almost impossible to catch. And we're coming into good Pennsylvania areas where they happen good. to like your president. I mean, it's like very good. So we'll probably expand that. Uh, we're winning Michigan. By, I'll tell you, I looked at the numbers. I said, whoa. I looked, I said, wow, that's a lot. By almost 300,000 votes. And 65% of the vote is in. And we're winning Wisconsin. And I said, we're winning. We don't need all of them. We need, because when you add Texas in, which wasn't added, I spoke with the really wonderful governor of Texas just a little while ago, and Greg Abbott, he said, uh, congratulations. He called me to congratulate me on winning Texas. I mean, we won Texas. I don't think they finished quite the tabulation, but they there's did. no way. And uh, it was almost complete, but he congratulated me. And Texas and he is said, done. By the way, what's going on? I've never seen anything like this. Can I tell you what? Nobody has. So we won wow. by 107,000 votes with 81% of the vote. That's Michigan. So when you take those three states in particular, and you take all of the others, I mean, we have, we have so many. We had such a big night. You just take a look at all of these states that we've won tonight. And then you take a look at the kind of margins that we've won them by. And, and all of a sudden, it's not like we're up 12 votes and we have 60% left. We won states, and all of a sudden, I said, what happened to the election? It's off. And we have all these announcers saying, what happened? And then they said, oh, because you know what happened? They knew they couldn't win. Oh, my so they God. Said, Let's go to court. And did I predict this, Newt? Did I say this? I've been saying this from the day. Nobody's I saying Biden is winning either, though. Tens of millions of ballots. I said exactly because either they were going to win or if they didn't win, they'll take us to court. So Florida was a tremendous victory. 377,000. Texas, as we said. Ohio. This is so this. bizarre. Ohio, a tremendous state, a big state. I love Ohio. We won by 8.1%. Yo, if he doesn't win this, this is going to go down in, this is going to go down in history. North Carolina, big victory with North Carolina. Thank you for following, Owen. And so we won there. We lead by 76,000 votes with almost nothing left. And all of a sudden, everything just stopped. What are you talking about? This is a fraud. What? In the American public. 
This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. We did win this election. <laughs> what? So our goal now is to ensure the integrity for the good of this nation. What's up, I'm Sky Dog? big moment. This is a major fraud in our nation. We want the law to be used in a proper manner. So we'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all... Is, he, is that him breathing? ...to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at 4 o'clock in the morning and add them to the list, okay? It's, it's a very sad... It's a very sad moment. To me, this is a very sad moment, and... We will win this, and we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won it. So I just want to thank you. And Yo, I cannot I wait to see the reporter support. after this. I want to thank all of the people that worked with us. And, I agree, uh, Blade. Mr. Vice President, say a few words, please. Please. Watch. Watch. You're you about to get like 30 seconds, and Trump's going to come back and cut him off. Now, did you fumigate? Are there no flies around? Thank you, Mr. President. Damn, you I look want to join you too. In, in thanking more than 60 million Americans who have already cast their vote for four more years for President Donald Trump in the White House. And while the votes continue to be counted, uh, we're going to remain vigilant, as the President said. Uh, the right to vote has been at the center of our democracy since the founding of this nation, and we're going to protect the integrity of the vote. But I really believe with all of my heart, with the extraordinary All right. Well, that is... Um, oh, Pence, what? Just after, um, Hold the on. Residence? Nah, I, I want to... That's fucked up. No, I wanted to hear the rest of what... Because that's the kind of shit that Pence... Uh, that Trump should have been saying. Ugh, this lady is so fucking bitter. Hold on. Ah. Oh, they're already done. On the hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Japan. Damn, hello, Hi. Alright, nah, I can't find Pence. Ah! Alright, let's see what. <laughs> That's kind of funny how they have a woman translate. <laughs> there was one face he made where he was like, Ooh? <laughs> It's kind of funny. Alright, let's let's get back to my favorite uh, Canadian uh, reporter. I can't wait to see the shit she about to say. She about to be so mad. All right, let's go. Donald Trump, who made it clear what he thinks is happening tonight based on no evidence um, that, as he said, this is a fraud on the American public, and that he claims he's now going to go to the U.S. Supreme Court because he says oh, I told you he was only getting 30 seconds. All voting to stop. Of course, it is 2.31 Eastern time. Voting has stopped. The counting of the ballots, <laughs> the valid ballots, has not stopped in a lot of states. So it seems that's what he really wants to try to stop. Uh, Jackson Prosco is with me here in Washington. Is that your assessment? Yeah, Donna. I mean, this is incredibly dangerous talk when you consider that the president is misrepresenting how the voting system in this country actually works and is designed to work. And the president claimed essentially that continuing to count ballots would disenfranchise his own supporters, when in reality, what he's looking he to needs do those. is disenfranchise millions of Americans who have voted, but who haven't yet had their ballots counted. It is. Uh, really a remarkable play from a president uh, at a time like this. It's such a sensitive time, Donna. 
Yo, you know, he needs he said, those votes. Uh, well, he said lots of things that have, there are no basis in truth. Uh, oh, Eric Sorensen <laughs> is with us now, too, Eric. You were listening into the president, of course, uh, as well. Um, you know, he said, first of all, it's such a big night uh, for the Republicans. That's not entirely true. Uh, first of all, overarching everything, not all the ballots are counted, so nobody can say definitively who has won. I don't know what her name is. Let's uh, look President this shit Trump. up, dude. Secondly, she is wild, um, dude. He said all of a sudden the election is off. I don't, uh, like, what's he trying to telegraph here, do you think? Global Eric? news, all I know. Well, I think he's trying to ignore the fact that there are a lot of vote, votes out there that haven't been counted yet. Um, you know, four years ago in Pennsylvania, there were six million ballots cast. Six million, just over. And this year, there was a record turnout. So you're going to expect that number to be up at 7 million, perhaps, or some number like that. Well, so far tonight in Pennsylvania, they've counted 5 million, 5.1 million. So there are a lot of ballots, and I mean 1 to 2 million probably more, uh, in Pennsylvania that have not been counted yet. Some of those are Republican ballots from jurisdictions where they haven't even begun to count until tomorrow morning. So he's, he's disenfranchising them. That's who's being disenfranchised. And that's just Pennsylvania. And the same, the same thing exists in some other states as well, where there are ballots that uh, have not been counted yet, uh, and they won't be counted for a while yet. And it's going to be a, a, a slow torture for him uh, as he watches these numbers. Because right now, the Democrats are at a very low ebb. But if the numbers start to come back in, and suddenly that 13-point lead in, in Pennsylvania becomes 11 and then 9, well, you can start to see how things start to pick up on the other side and somebody's going to blow his stack uh, on the Republican side. That's funny. Yeah, blow well, and I nose. assume that's why he's doing and saying this now. But, um, you know, uh, we'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. I mean, I, I, does he have the, it doesn't really matter what he says, right? The voting has to continue. <laughs> I mean, it's beyond any Thank president you, to say that the voting's going to stop. It's, it's just, I mean, the... He said the voting's going to stop, but that doesn't even make any logical sense. So maybe he meant the ballot counting is going to stop? Well, I mean, there's a process here, Donna, which is that uh, there have to be lower court challenges before you even end up at the Supreme yeah. Court. So claiming that you're automatically going to the Supreme Court, it's just it it's not a, how it works. It's not a thing. There have been some previous Supreme Court rulings over the course of this election that set out what, like, what the court is likely to accept and not accept. One of the things they've basically said already oh, is that if state legislators, elected officials, set rules for the election, they will likely abide by those rules. If unelected board of electors set election rules, those are more likely to be tossed out by the Supreme Court. So in a state like Pennsylvania, where they've already said you've got a three-day grace period, for example, to bring in mail-in ballots, they, there's, it's hard to see how they're going to throw that out. They could try, and it's possible they could, but the point is the Supreme Court has already sort of danced around the edges of what they're willing to rule on. One other quick point I'd like to make here. Shout outs to the, the 162 language, people watching. My name is Akasun. people should know that you can. Black man living in Japan. Just uh, trying to have a good vibe with all the rest of you guys. Um, I'm glad you guys are tuning in. If, you, if you're down with this, uh, make sure to follow. We usually play games and you know we have political conversation but this is just a very special night and we're just trying to let everybody regardless of what he says He's blow off steam in a very tonight. safe manner uh in uh oh shit unbiased but they're still you know we want to hear everybody's opinion but we want to treat each other with respect so shout outs to everybody I love the Canadian hockey analogies. <laughs> um, and Eric, the votes still are actually being but pretty much, in some places. I know some we're pretty much done for the but, night tonight. Um, I'm not going anywhere yet, like, but like um, there's not much more we can really say at this um, moment. We just they, saw um, Trump a. speak. So Presumably they're still uh, we saw now. Trump speak and this Canadian Minority, woman. We we're watching uh, Canadian news because we felt like this would this would probably be the most. Is that right? Uh, um, unbiased. I, so. I mean, I know that they've said in situation jurisdictions like other Atlanta, than Japan somewhere, news or something uh, like that. That aren't going to be counted till tomorrow. Obviously, in, in Pennsylvania, there are bunches of votes that aren't going to be counted. But it is kind of very. Um, it's very Wisconsin interesting to see them go ham on Trump. Earlier in the evening, right now he has about a four-point lead in Wisconsin. Um, there are still some outstanding votes in uh, Milwaukee County, as I understand it. This is a jurisdiction that it might be 40 percent African American. But um, that the the one thing I will say is that in my, I have never seen someone, you know, regardless, because nothing has, nothing has been voted, nothing has come in yet. 
I've never seen <laughs> Trump. Biden came out and gave a speech of someone who's not winning. <laughs> That's the wildest thing. I've never in all my years of doing of like watching political stuff i've never seen the the leading candidate at the moment right now sound like the, playing a wait and see situation and then the trailing candidate acting like he won the damn thing <laughs> but or he should have won it and that people are suppressing him Whew, this is wild man this is wild man this dude came out here acting like he won, but it, like, nobody's calling it for him. Yeah, quite willing to toe the president's line all the time, are being very clear tonight at this hour, saying the president has not yet won the election. Will they change their tune over the course of the few days? Will they be right. persuaded to change their tune? Right. Perhaps. But as of right now, they are rejecting the president's initial statements about uh, his own victory here tonight. Well, and I guess my question is, d does it even matter what he says at this point? <laughs> no, I, I mean, it's up to the courts, it's up to the states. You know, we've talked, Donna, about, uh, about the states here, right? And we've yeah. talked about how each state sets yeah. its own rules. Yeah. Uh, there are Republican secretaries of states in places like Pennsylvania that are not going to go along with the president saying they're going to continue the count. They've made that clear before the president said a word tonight. You know, Michael Beschloss, when a presidential historian tweeted tonight, shame on anyone who abets and enables this hallucination. Damn. From President Trump. Um, uh, so, I guess the American people, the rest of the world, um, go to bed now. It's almost 3 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time. And see what the lay of the land is in the morning. <laughs> although there won't be a substantive change. I guess well, what we're going to hear from, and we're all going to have to consult, are legal experts. I think it is possible, though, you know, when the count picks up tomorrow in She just Michigan told everybody Wisconsin to go to bed. And it continues in Georgia, that we might have a little more, little more clarity that helps mm -hmm. us understand mm -hmm. um, whether or not, as we've been talking about all night, we even need to worry about Pennsylvania, for example, whether it's uh, very simple for Joe Biden. And then we get into those other scenarios like faithless electors, but at least on paper, we may have a sense by the end of day tomorrow where she said this everybody is, go to bed. Headed, not where it's <laughs> Don't expect Aaron, shit in the morning. Your thoughts on that.